So then, after I've taken the hand wrap and wrapped it around my arm to about where the glove will sit with the leftover, I go back down to where my wrist bends and I just finish it off again by creating a cast around that section of the wrist, wherever my wrist bends. I have never, fortunately, sprained my thumb, hurt my knuckles, but I have hit somebody wrong and it created, when their body came in, obviously the weight of their body was heavier than the, the strength that my wrist had, so it bent my wrist, creating a sprained wrist. So by really casting up the wrist, it prevents me from getting any type of wrist injury, uh, whether the heavy bag, I hit the heavy bag wrong for whatever reason, that doesn't happen very often, uh, but maybe occasionally, uh, for whatever random reason, you hit the heavy bag wrong. Usually if you're spraying your wrist, it's more because you're punching a human who's moving and as they come in, your hand meets them and maybe you hit their elbow for whatever reason, you hit a part of their body and it just kind of tweaks your wrist. So again, I like to just really make the majority of this hand wrap protect my wrist area right here. And so that, my friends, is how you wrap your hands then you put on your boxing gloves. Then of course you can go ahead and spar, you can go ahead and hit the bag, whatever you may need to do. But again, you can see, I did not wrap my thumb. I did wrap my fingers, did wrap my knuckle, and again, did wrap my wrist.